Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today, I'm doing something really cool that I've always wanted to do. I am going to write out my vision board and with the new year, every single year, we set goals and intentions. And one of my goals and intentions this year is to be a little bit more intentional about my goals. So let's get right into it. Here I have all of my different Sharpies and markers and I have my vision boards. You're going to see me doing a different point of view and you're going to see me writing out my goals on this vision board. So let's go. So with my vision board, I'm sorry, my tripod legs are in the frame, but in my vision board, I really want to be more intentional about my goals. So one of the ways that I can be more intentional about my goals is I'm going to first write I'm gonna first put out Coco's, and then I'm going to do 20, 21, and then goals. Ta da! Okay. So I'm gonna lose my little metallic pen because it's golden. gonna decorate a bit. But I'm decorating it too. Okay. All right, so now that I've decorated the front of my page, I have Coco's 2021 goals, and these are my goals. So right now I decorated it because I wanted to be reflective of the excitement that I have going on for this year. And I chose this yellow paper when a lot of other people choose a white paper. I chose this yellow paper because I'm really looking up this year, and I want this year to be sunshiny and happy. And so that's why I chose this yellow paper. And this paper was really cheap. It was only about 50 cents. So. I got right now what I'm gonna do is instead of just writing a whole bunch of different things and there's so many ways you can do a vision board you can do it by cutting out things in a magazine and posting it by writing out your goals you can journal there's a lot of different ways but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide mine into different sections like different areas of my life and my goal for that area so of course you guys all come for the area that is volleyball so I'm gonna do volleyball first So we all know that this year has been quite different. It's been a lot different for all of us. However, I wanted to set some volleyball goals for this upcoming year because I'm really excited about what's the potential for this year. So my number one goal for volleyball this year is to train for grass volleyball. In the adult community, grass volleyball is so very popular and it's something that I didn't really do until quarantine. I did one tournament last year that you guys saw, but during quarantine, I had a lot of different times where I was playing grass volleyball with my small, small quarantine group, where I had the chance to get better at grass volleyball and really learn more about the rules and the regulations because I really didn't know much about it. But it also really helped my ball control because as you guys know, I'm working on my passing. I've been working on my passing for the last two years, and I think that playing grass volleyball really did help a lot. So that is one of my largest goals for this year, is to get better at grass volleyball. And that goes into my next goal. One of my next goals is to go to the Pottstown Rumble. Now a lot of you guys, you guys are in high school, you're in middle school, and you don't really know about the Pottstown Rumble. I don't plan to go into 2021, but maybe 2022. The Pottstown Rumble is a huge, huge adult volleyball, well they have youth volleyball too, but adult volleyball tournament in which people all over the US and sometimes the world come together to compete in this three day tournament. They have some of the greatest grass volleyball players 
ever coming to this tournament. They have some professional players that come to this tournament. This tournament is really, really, really a way to show your volleyball skills, show what you know, and it's a great way for you to be able to meet other volleyball players, and it's sponsored by a ton of people. I used to live in Pennsylvania, if you guys have been around that long, and when I was in Pennsylvania, that is when I really learned about this tournament. It's a great way for us to learn more about it, and it's such great gameplay. So I'm really hoping that 2021, I can go to this tournament, find a grass partner. If you're a player and you want to be my partner, let me know, because I'm looking for a grass partner. So that way I then too can play in this tournament. As you can see, these swings are killer. But that is one of my goals for this upcoming year is to look into it and train for it possibly. Another one of my volleyball goals for this year is I really want to be able to work on being brave. And when I mean being brave, I mean sand sometimes can intimidate me. And it intimidates me because sand is tough. And sand is, is tough for me. And I'm okay to admit that sometimes I'm a little fearful of playing sand too. And I wanna be brave. And that means I wanna go out and I wanna try something new without the fear and letting fear hold me back. So being brave and playing sand. I also want to work on making sure my serve receive is better. I've been trying to work on passing for a long time, but serve receive sometimes can be intimidating. So I want to work on serve receive so that way I can become better player and that way I can also work on my jump serve too. So there's some things that I really want to work on this year volleyball wise, but there's some other things that I want to work on life wise too. So let's review my volleyball goals for this year. So at the top is to train for grass volleyball. And the ways that I can do that is conditioning, making sure that I play grass volleyball and get out there and, you know, take the chance. Half of the battle is just going out there and doing it. So I wanna go out there and try. And even if I'm a little afraid, go out there and try. Number two is look into the Pottstown Rumble. We just talked about the Pottstown Rumble, how big of a deal it is. And by training for grass volleyball in 2022, I can be ready for the Pottstown Rumble. I gotta find a partner first. Be brave and play sand. I've played sand a couple of times in my life, but I want to be able to play sand with confidence. I want to be able to go out there and enjoy myself. And part of that comes into these other goals, but playing sand is something I've always wanted to be able to do. And in order for me to do that, I have to be confident. Work on serve receive. As you guys know, I am not a passer by trade. That is not my position. I'm an outside hitter, middle hitter, um, which means that I traditionally played in the front row. Passing has not my strength. However, in the past couple of years, I've worked really hard for it to be my strength, but I still want to continue to work on serve receive, especially when I'm playing on open level tournaments and there's a lot of jump serves that are coming into play. Um, finally, dominate jump serves. I've got, finally got the, the jump float. I got the float serve, a lot of different types of serves, but I always wanted to know how to jump. In order for me to know how to jump, I have to practice. So making sure that I take all of these this year into this intention, and I don't have to just do them all in January and just binge them quickly, but I wanna make sure to take the time to actually acknowledge all of these goals and then be goals that I really am passionate about and that I care about, okay? My next set of goals that I'm going to talk to you guys about is my YouTube goals. So YouTube is another part of my life that's really, really important. So I'm going to shift this over a little bit to YouTube goals. And I don't have a red marker, but I can use this pink marker to kind of draw the YouTube symbol. If I'm that talented, if I'm ever so talented. Let's see. Okay. It's working out. All right, YouTube, so my YouTube goals. So for YouTube, oh, I forgot my little squiggly line. Let's draw the squiggly line. All right, for my YouTube goals. Now, last year I really hit a lot of my goals. Let me move you guys over. Last year I hit a ton of my goals when I hit 100,000 subscribers. I am so ever grateful that I was able to do that. I am so happy that I was able to do that and impact so many of you guys through YouTube. But for my YouTube goals this year, I would like, let's see, Rufus, it's okay. I would like to meet more of you guys. I wanna 
meet more of you guys. That means that if, whether that's me doing meet and greets, whether that's me doing more live streams, interacting with you all, that's what I would like to do is to meet more of you guys. You guys are so important to me and I love being a part of your volleyball journey. So I want to meet more of you guys. Secondly, what I would like to do is I would really like to, hmm, upload more tutorials. I know that with a lot of things going on with, you know, COVID and all of that stuff, it's been tough to do that. But tutorials are what really brought a lot of you guys to my channel in the first place. So I want to upload more tutorials so that way I can help you guys on your volleyball journey and more stuff like that. My third goal is to make more merch. make more merch i want to make more merchandise that you guys can actually use on your volleyball journey and something that is going to be good for you that you can use and you can target it can help you that's what i would like to do for this is make more merch and then of course i gotta talk about it i want this year to get 175k subs this year I want to impact more of you guys and get more subscribers to impact more of you guys and grow on our volleyball journeys and by getting 175k oh my god that would be so totally awesome and it would be a great way for me to meet you guys to interact get more volleyball players and all of that so that is my youtube goal for this year but with everything you do have to have some goals that are life goals so i'm gonna put um, my life goals in the top corner up here by my name. So let's move us over. So let's move us over a little bit. All right. So as you guys recently just knew, I did get engaged. So as you can see by this, this ring, I did get engaged. So I'm going to put my life goals right here life all right let's put a squiggly line huh let's see okay for my life goals for number one definitely definitely number one travel 100 number one you're number one. You remember how SpongeBob? Travel is my number one. I love traveling. I want to travel more this year. That is a big goal of mine. Travel. Number two. I want to listen more. Listen more. That means I want to take more time to listen to others, be intentional about listening to others, because you know how sometimes people listen to others, but then they're thinking about what they're going to say first. No, I want to listen more. I also want to budget better. I know this is kind of an adult topic, but some of you guys, money is important. So you guys have to learn how to budget, budget better. And then lastly, I want to be mindful. Be mindful, that means being in the present, accepting being in the present, and also, I wanna read more books. I'm a big book reader, read more. Whether that's book, audio book, newspaper clippings, peer reviewed articles, journals, textbooks, all the, oh my gosh, I forgot, Lord have mercy, the biggest goal of yet, graduate. <laughs> Did I spell graduate? Graduate. Yeah, let me see if I can draw a cap and gown. I'm probably gonna butcher this. Ooh, Lord, it's already looking rough. I'm not an artist, but anybody can be an artist, so I'm trying. Let's get this yellow tassel for my graduate. Graduate. 
That's what I want. Graduate. I'm getting my master's right now, so I would like to graduate. So I probably will add more things to this later, but let's take a look at all of the goals that we have on my vision board so far. So we have so many different sections. We have life, we have YouTube, we have volleyball. I probably will add more sections here later on, but I really wanted to make this video so you guys can see how to set your vision board. There's so many ways to do it. There's no perfect way, but I wanted you to see me how I did my vision board this year. Um, Coco's 2021 goals and um, yeah so I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna like look at it back when I need to remind myself that what I set for myself this year so I can make sure I'm on track it's a great way to do that if you guys watch other vision board videos make sure you look at some of the ideas for some of the things that people adults use I hope you like this video but Let's go back and I hope you like this video. I hope that these goals kind of inspired you to see something that you may like. And please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.